Welcome to this tutorial where we are talking about the last type of movement that we haven't really focused on too much as yet, and that's gliding movements. Now, gliding movements we can say are a type of movement that includes joints that are sliding back and forth across each other or even uh, side to side. And a good example we can think of straight away for this type of movement would be the carpals in our hand or the tarsals in our foot. So the carpals or tarsals. And also the articular processes between our vertebrae. Now the articular processes being the uh, bony extensions that interact with vertebrae above and below themselves. So if we see on the carpals here, if we move our hands side to side like this, these bones are going to be sliding across each other's articular surfaces, and we call this gliding. So they slide back and forth, or side to side, and that's a gliding movement. Now the same thing with our articular processes on the uh, bony extensions here on the spine. If we bend forward, flex our spine forward or hyperextend our spine backwards, the articular processes are going to slide across each other. So when they're sliding across each other like that, it's not uh, forming an angle between two joints, so it can't be an angular movement, so it must be gliding. And the types of joints we'll see this in most often are our plane joints. Now, if we remember back to our uh, tutorial on different types of synovial joints, we had plane joints and ball and socket joints and hinge joints and a few other types of synovial joints as well. So now that we know our three basic movement types, let's just recap on them all really quickly. And I'll use this as a time to distinguish that in the first video I'd said that angular, gliding, and special movements were the three main types, but more correctly, uh, rotation should replace special movements if we are talking about the majority of joints in the body. And although our, our special uh, movements have many more subdivisions, they are often movements that are only achievable at one specific joint, whereas angular uh, rotation and gliding can be achieved in many places within the body. So there we have our three movement types, angular being increasing or decreasing the angle between joints, rotation being uh, rotating a bone around its own axis, such as shaking your head, so as if you were uh, saying no, and gliding movements, so as if you were just moving your hands side to side and the bones moving across each other. And just that last uh, special category again was the special movements themselves. And we have this because all of the movements within this category do not fit into either angular or rotation or gliding movements. And they're usually only achievable at one joint. And that's going to cover all of the different movement types that we have and can achieve within our body. So if we move our body now, so lift our arms up and down or shake our head side to side, we can figure out what exactly our joint is doing and name it correctly. So I hope these uh, last couple of videos have been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.